Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I've got a surprise guest with me today. It's my thrifting friend Ginny. You guys have heard me talk about her a ton and I wanted to share with you my, um, you guys have seen all of my stuff recently, but I wanted to show you what I got at the um, Goodwill Half Price Day on Sat, or a couple Saturdays ago, first of October, the first weekend of October, um, what I got and also Jenny was going to show you some of her finds. She's actually more of a queen of this than I am. Um, and we had a lot of questions about um, what we look for when we're thrifting. Um, I mean, because it's a job. Like, we go in full force. <laughs> so we're just going to kind of talk about that today and show you some of the finds. I'll show you everything I got in October. Um, and then, yeah, that's what we're going to do today. So let's dive in. This could be a long video. We have a lot of stuff here. We are, we've kind of honed our craft. It's, it's really, it's, it's not for the week. It's not. It's not. I mean, Jenny had the belt. Tell, let's tell everyone. Let's start off with some tips for okay. good thrifting. Tips for good thrifting. Mm -hmm. First of all, you need to know the stores that you're going to. Uh -huh. So scope them out. If you are going to an area, let's say you are in Indianapolis, don't expect to find a Miami Dolphins jersey there. You're no, not going to no, find one. No. But if you are in a nicer suburb, you're going to find nicer donations. Yes. And we're going to show you some today. Yeah. Uh, the other thing I would say is know your area is we found a lot of really awesome Indian, Asian Indian fabrics. Oh, yes. Yes. We ha yes. Our area has a, um, a very rich population, a very diverse population. And we have found some gorgeous saris. Mm -hmm. um, Jenny's got an actual authentic kimono here that we're going to show you that is just beautiful. Um, so, yeah. Know your area. Know your area. And then also know what you have in your closet and where you want to go. So if you have 400 black shirts, you probably don't need another black shirt. But if you're looking for something that's a quality basic, uh, spend the $4.99 and go ahead and get that long sleeve turtleneck that's cashmere or finding uh, the, the, the quality skirt. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or blazers. Blazers is blazers one, I is one of our I favorite. I liked it. Things. Yes. Blazers and jackets. Um, yeah, one of our favorite. And uh, tell, tell the viewers here about um, appropriate dress okay. when, when goodwilling. So uh, on a regular goodwill day, there are dressing rooms. Mm -hmm. And you, utilize those dressing rooms mm -hmm. because just like your pants shrink in the washer and dryer, so does everybody else's. So if you're taking an arm load of jeans, go ahead and try them on. Spend the extra 15 minutes. Yeah, it's only $4.49 for the jeans, but you're going to want to make sure they fit before you leave. Unless you're a master alteration person like <laughs> Whitney, which I'm not. But even still, if things are too small, If they're too, they're small. too small, they're too small. You can't yeah. fix them. Uh, but on 50% off Saturdays, these are days that the dressing rooms are backed up because people will take heaps and heaps of things in. So uh, if you are on the move and you have a mission, as yeah. we do, mm -hmm. I dress in a way that it is appropriate for me to layer clothes on the store. So the last time we went, I wore yoga leggings and a athletic fit tank and a regular bra. Never a sports bra because when you are trying on blouses and you have on everything is bound, mm -hmm. those blouses just might not fit the same when you actually have your regular bra on. So I stripped down to my yoga leggings my athletic tank shirt with my regular bra on, and um, I also didn't want to put my purse down because I didn't want to lose it. So I had on a waist fanny pack belt waist bag. Belt <laughs> and right in the middle of the store, I tried on skirts, I tried on sweaters, I tried on jackets. Uh -huh. I think I even pants. tried on pants. You did. You tried on work pants. I tried yes. on work pants. So got them all tried on in the store without ever stepping foot in the dressing room. And while still maintaining your modesty. I mean, we did do it in the corner of the store. It wasn't... <laughs> Right in the walkway, too badly. I would say another tip for Half Price Saturday would be, if you're thinking about it, grab it, stick it in the cart, because that's what everyone else is doing. So make your way through, and then find a, as much of a quiet corner as you can to go through everything, to then decide, do I really want these things? Yes. Don't hem and haw at the racks, though. They're very, very close. you got to be able to just kind of make your way through them, um, looking out for the fabrics, the... Oh, really the fabrics. Well, the fabrics, and also I would say looking quickly through the quality, you're yeah. going to see a lot of things, and you're going to see 150 different sorority or fraternity t-shirts. Yeah. But you're going to also come through, and you're going to hit a Banana Republic sweater, or you're going to hit a J. Crew jacket, mm -hmm. or a pair of cabbie pants, and you're like, oh, gold man, I think I'm going to take this home with me. Yeah, yeah. 
or just putting it in the pile because then you can kind of go over it more with a fine tooth comb. Would you like to show some of the items where maybe we didn't go over with a fine tooth comb? Yes, I have some a, of our sad. I yeah. have a sad. Um, I have two sad stories here. This is a beautiful Ann Taylor jacket. It has a a, a cashmere underneath. That I'm going to talk about in a minute. But this lovely Ann Taylor jacket. I have to get dressed up for work, and again, I like a good deal. <laughs> and I feel like getting work clothes is fantastic because these are the things that are not going to get worn out. So I was excited about this jacket, fits me great, got home and I noticed right on the back moth the fabric was, was torn or a yeah. moth hole. Um, but I spent 50% off $7 yeah. on this $3. jacket. 50 cents. So you can technically take things back to the Goodwill. If you save your receipt, you can take things yeah. back. Um, I probably won't. I will probably just snip off the tags and redonate it to the Goodwill for someone else to maybe treasure or fix or something else. But I'm not going to mess with this. It's going in the discard bin. Yeah. So that does. That happens. That um, happens. The other sad story I have. Oh, this beautiful cashmere sweater. Also fits you like a dream. Fits Wonderful like color a dream. on you. One of my very, very favorite colors. Brought it home, and I spent two hours with a little razor blade shaving the heck out of this thing. Made a couple little holes and I fixed them. But then I put it on last night, lifted my elbow up, boom, three holes right there in the arm. I shaved it too close. So, yeah. sad, sad day for this cashmere. Hopefully we can figure out a w way to repurpose this into yeah, something scrap else. scrap it or something, yeah. Because it's such a beautiful color. It so, is. Again, it is. another... So those different. things, yeah, those, those things, things happen. do happen. Yeah. So just be, pre be prepared for that. Okay, let's delve into some of our finds. Let's start with how we also have a path that we like to take through the yeah. store. Um, and it really is set up, again, know your neighborhood, know your area. We have two Goodwills we like to hit. Um, we hit one first every single time. It's our favorite one. And then we will go to the second one. So we have our route through either store. Um, and our favorite one, the first stop, to the right is jackets, jackets and suits. And suits. So um, the first one I want to show you is a cabbie jacket that we found together at Goodwill. Um, I just got it dry cleaned. It's this great fabric. I personally would never spend what they're probably asking for retail on a cabbie jacket. Oh, but easily, if I can yeah. get this for seven dollars, yeah, I'm gonna try it out. I've got some great. You didn't get um, it for seven dollars though. You got that on half price day, three fifty maybe. Maybe three fifty. Yeah. So I've actually worn it already with a pair of black pants, a black shell underneath. Worn it to work. Um, got lots and lots of compliments on mm -hmm. it. Gold necklace. So yeah. love it. Another cabbie jacket that I've picked up at the Goodwill is this gray one here with like kind of almost looks like camouflage or a nice little lining and then has this kind of military styling to it. Um, something fun about Cabby, Whitney and I were just talking about. If you check their tags, they'll have their style number inside. This is style 221. And if you search Cabby 221, you'll often find the styling pictures that they posted online for their clothing. So you can get some ideas. A little style inspiration. So those are two great blazers. You picked up a great blazer this last time. I did. Time. And I showed you guys this. Um, this is one I'm going to be reworking. Um, I need to shorten the sleeves on them. Although someone said you should always wear these rolled. And I will. It's just these literally hang three and a quarter inches past my hand right now. So, um, or past my wrist. So I'll be shortening the sleeves on these. I'm going to get rid of the vent and the sleeve completely. It'll be a super easy alteration. I can show you guys how I do that. Um, but yes, this, again, first pass, we are shopping with our eyes and looking for fabrics, basically. This fabric jumped right out at me immediately. I grabbed it. Um, another good tip is to shop with your hands, especially seamstresses. You know the feeling of the good stuff. If you're going through, a lot of times you can feel that cashmere. You can feel the suede. Um, another tip for half price Saturday is people will go in on the Friday before and yes. hide things. I'm not guilty of it, <laughs> but I suggested it last week. So you have to be you have to be ready to look, not necessarily you know, you may find a gorgeous jacket in with the blouses or something. Yes. Because people will hide things. So Absolutely. and usually it's the good stuff. So the one last thing that I would found uh, at the in the blazer section yeah was this is a great find. This is a J. Crew suit that we found. Um, what did you call the superwash wool? Yes, uh, 
No, it's... What is it? It's the super... Oh gosh, it does have a name. Super 120. Yes, the Super 120. Super 120. Yeah. So um, a nice black jacket with the accompanying skirt. Probably retail would be at least $200 for oh, both pieces, least. if not more. Yeah. Um, but we picked it's it up. I picked suit. it up for $9.99. I spent more money getting it dry cleaned than I did on the actual suit. Wore it once, had to get it dry cleaned again because I sat in some chalk from my nieces and nephews. <laughs> so um, really great, good, basic, high quality stuff we found there. Yeah. So our next space that we go to is... Usually it's the dresses. dresses. So that will be long skirts, um, dresses, that kind of thing. Look so at the last time um, Whitney and I went, I found this great skirt, which is going to pair awesome with that black jacket I just shared with you, um, black turtleneck, high boots, and I'm really excited about this because this is a classic, so, classic so pattern. Classic. You guys can't see it all the way, but it's so a mini jealous. skirt, and <laughs> it is from Charter Club, which I believe is a Macy's brand. Oh, is it? And it's 100% wool. It's so, a gorgeous wool skirt. I'm really excited about wearing it this winter when it cools down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, hand me my Oh, uh, I got one more skirt to show. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is a skirt I just got to wear the other day with my daughter. Fall florals. Again, right there. Very in. <laughs> the yeah, dark that's florals. I would say another thing that we look for. We look yes. at what the current, yes. the current um, styles are. And uh -huh. We're like, oh, that'll fit. I can wear that. Because suede is super in right now. Um, let's show you a few things that you haven't seen. Suede, as you know, is super in right now. And that is one thing that I feel like our eyes have become attuned to. And we've been finding a ton of suede wreaths. A ton! Almost every color of the rainbow. <laughs> almost, seriously. So I found, um, it's just like my emerald green pants. These are pink. Pink suede pants. Am I going to wear pink suede pants? Jury's still out. Will this become fabric for something else? Possibly. But they fit. They do fit. They're too long and they need to be shortened. Um, but they're kind of awesome. So I haven't decided yet what I'm going to be doing with these. They haven't be wa been washed yet. And thank you to the... Thank you! Yes! The tips of washing thank the suede you. has saved us so much money in dry cleaning. And it works, people! It works! We were... I was quoted $50 to get a jacket dry cleaned. Actually, I'll show you the suede jacket that I got with Whitney. Took this yeah. from dry cleaners. They said, oh, it's suede, $50. And I said, oh, bummer. Whitney told me about you got your comments. And then I actually opened it up, looked at the tag, and it says, wash inside out in cold water. Yeah. Who knew? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right there, right in front of our faces. Exactly. And I, um... <laughs> okay, <laughs> these shorts do not fit me. That waist is, like, ridiculously small. These shorts are so funny. Um, but it's suede. It's 100% suede, and I'm totally making a clutch out of this. In fact, I even bought some magnetic um, clutch... Um, closures to do a clutch out of this. I so this is bought for fabric. I feel like Prince would really... Oh my gosh, that. these are so late 80s, early 90s. Um, yeah, we had a moment in the store about these, but yeah, I'm. that's going to be a, a bag. But then, in the skirt section, this also fits me. I found this... What color would you call that? Oatmeal? Um, oh, fawn? Yeah. Fawn. Buff? Oh, buff. <laughs> but it's a... It's Actually, it's probably supposed to be a midi skirt, but this thing comes down to, like, past my ankles. So it's going to have to be shortened, but it's got this lovely um, slit in the front. I think I'm going to leave it midi length, though, on me. I mean, it literally will have to be shortened, like, six inches to be midi on me. Um, but it fits. It's a gorgeous suede skirt. I have not. And look at this. You think maybe that these even went together. Man. Because I've also found this jacket at the same store, and this fits me perfectly. I... I... I, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say something about that, putting those two things together. Maybe. maybe <laughs> too much? Too much. <laughs> but definitely separately. Uh, I, or, or wear it together and just wear the heck and out of it. And wear the heck out of it. Oh my gosh, with a brightly colored turtleneck underneath it. Our kids will be so embarrassed. <laughs> I have not watched this hit either, but this is Valerie Stevens. I don't yeah. know what that... Oh, let's check and see if it's the same brand. That would be a clue. No tag. Oh, they've cut the tag out. Okay. Anyway, it's the same color. It's the same color. 
But um, yes, I found these two pieces again. And this fits you beautifully. This fits me beautifully. In fact, I don't have to shorten the sleeves or anything. This fits just as is, and it's a, I mean it's a great length. Everything. This jacket is just needs to be cleaned. That really needs to go with an animal print. Totally, my new animal print belt. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have one more piece of suede that I yeah. want to share with you guys. This, this is all jacket, about last weekend. This um, jacket came from the Goodwill last weekend, yeah. 50% off, so $3.50. Red suede. I did wash this last week. It kept its great color. It's probably in better shape than the tan one, and it's from Nordstrom's, That's according to the tag. And uh, my daughter's going to wear this to be Scarlet Witch. For Halloween. And then Jenny's going to wear it because it looks amazing on her. This color is so good on you. Jewel tones. Mm-hmm. Jewel tones. Yeah. So uh, I just am really excited that we found all these great jackets. And it's fun to get excited together. Yes. There's a lot of squealing that goes on. Will you hand me the Pendleton and that big one? Okay. Oh, and that skirt. Oh, yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> All right. I also found, um, again, when looking at classic pieces... Yeah. This is a Pendleton wool blazer. I mean, I mean, I mean it's Pendleton. I mean, you can't. I, I think it's a man's blazer, and well, it might be. No, it's not because this is a fourteen. Oh yeah, you're right. Women's, but this I, is hundred percent virgin wool from it Portland, is. Oregon, and yeah. that's a vintage tag. That is a vintage tag. So this, I mean, it's a classic style, and this is navy and white. This is not black. This is navy. Which is very exciting. exciting. So again, I need to shorten the sleeves on this, but it's going to be worn as a boyfriend cardigan, or cardigan, boyfriend um, jacket this fall and winter. <laughs> so fun to find these treasures. I'll take so that. fun. Thank you. Um, I also found this jacket that is, has to be from the 80s. The shoulders on it are huge, but I'm really digging it. I may change out the shoulder pads because the shoulder pads, I mean, it needs a bold shoulder pad just for these like little arm shoulder things that come off of it. Um, but they're really thick shoulder, I mean, really, really thick shoulder pads. I mean, feel those in there. Mm. It's like a memory Crystal foam. Crystal Carrington <laughs> would really rock this jacket. <laughs> but it fits me as well. And it's got the most interesting sleeve that comes to this cuff. And it's, I mean, it's, it's sleeves. It's all about sleeves right now. Comes to your um, And it does. So it's a nice, long, oversized coat. Um, yes. So I, I bought this for $5. And it's in great condition. It's wool. 100% um, wool. I get one of those things that's going to take more to dry clean. It totally will. But totally that's will. okay. That's okay. But if I were buying it brand new, I'd have to dry clean it anyway. Oh, so. Whitney, can I show my skirt? My fun skirt? Yes. Can I stand up? Yes, you can. Okay. Friends, I have been wanting a pleated skirt, and I found this at the Goodwill. Yes. Super stoked about it. Wearing it with my graphic tee. Yep. Wearing it with my vintage denim. Yep. And um, could it be happier? Liz Claiborne? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> Thanks, Goodwill. It's just great. Another thing that I want to um, recommend, and I don't have anything in this particular haul, always check the men's section. Always. Always. You can get great oversized sweaters that can be used easily downsized and um, taken in. Uh, denim. Now, with men's denim, you want to size way up from what you would buy because men have no butts, and so I have to wear like a 34, I think, in a man's jean in order for it to fit my hips because men are just built differently. Whereas I think I'm like a 29 if I were wearing a women's jean. So keep that in mind, but I have found some great vintage Levi's that um, just need to be shortened. Um, anyway, that's a tip. Don't, yeah. don't neglect the men. They've got some good stuff. I think we should talk about the fun stuff. Let's talk about that. Wait, let me finish. Oh, let me do this real quick. My skirts, and then we're gonna talk about the fun stuff. This is also a vintage, also Pendleton. Shoot. <laughs> wool skirt. It does not fit me right now, but as you will notice, there is a ton of gathering at the back of the waistband, and there are pleats. It has the closure with the pocket in the closure, so I am literally, it's way too long on me. Um, it's, I think it would be great at midi, but it's, it's too long, so I need to take the hem off, and I could recut a new waistband, and I'm just going to let all of that out and see what I got to play with, and basically recut it and make it into a pencil skirt, but this color was too good to pass up. Again, I was in line when I grabbed that at the second Goodwill. Um, and we probably paid a whole three dollars for it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. So it's kind of cool because the fabrics themselves, you can't really... Actually, there's some bug damage there at the bottom. Well, the even reason to cut it off. Yep. The fabrics themselves, you really can't even buy for this much. No. No. Yeah. Right. Uh, let's talk about that silk scarf that you just... Well, I know. At the... Near the cash register, they will have scarves. Jenny has a knack for finding the silk ones. <laughs> so she found this one that gorgeous border. 
We paid, I paid 50 cents for it. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. But, I mean, it's a good color, and, um, yeah, I'm wanting to incorporate scarves. Belts are another good thing to look for. I got these two leather belts. Um, this one is, like, literally brand new. Like, has that been worn? I don't think so. Yeah. And neckties. Neckties are another place thing to look for. They have 100% silk ones yep. there, and they're typically 99 cents regular price. Maybe if they're really nice, they're $1.99. But I think that I think most of the time, 99 yeah. cents and so 50 cents on half breast. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Every single time my husband wear comes from the Goodwill. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why not? They're in yeah. great condition most of the time. Or you can make bias binding out of them, like I do. I showed you guys this this skirt too. This is my H by Halston, which is a QVC brand. Someone told me. So this is the one I'm gonna be making into a um, a kind of a flared skirt. I'm, it's way too big, so I'm going to be making it into a flared skirt. Although when I'm changing all this stuff for you guys, um, for this module I'm working on, I'm going to take before pictures so you can see what it looks like before and then after when I've done the alterations. Blouses, again, we were at the end of our shopping and I was just casually going through the blouses before we were ready to check out. Um, these two are actually Chico blouses and Modal, um, is it Modal? I think it is. Modal, just a camp shirt and this gorgeous blue and then this white blouse that you saw with my snakeskin skirt on Friday. Um, and again, what do we pay for blouses? We pay... I think they're four forty nine dollars regular price. So okay. you need the math, $2.25. Yeah, and if you spend over $20 at Goodwill, as I'm going to sound yes. like a Goodwill commercial, mm -hmm. you get another 10% off your purchase price. True. So whatever another 10% is off of Two dollars and twenty-five cents. And if you have their cheap. rewards cards, you spend so much money, you get five dollars yes. rewards. Yes. Um, that we also take advantage of. Okay, fun stuff. Fun stuff. Okay. Let's show some of our fun stuff. So fun I bought this skirt at Goodwill uh, because the fabric just spoke to me. Isn't it's, that gorgeous? It's Ankara guys? fabric. Look at that. You guys will know that. Yes. Just look at that. I uh, looked at the tag, and again, remember we have a pretty big Asian Indian population here, and I looked at it. it says advanced apparel, free size, made in India. Yep. And I thought to myself, this is too pretty. Yeah. I took it home, I wear it with a black t-shirt, and I'm not going to lie to you, men come up to me in Costco and they say, ma'am, I just have to tell you, your skirt is beautiful. And I, I was like, he was going to say, hey, you dropped something. <laughs> no, a, a compliment on my skirt. So that was a really fun thing that I picked up at... Our good, well, here's the kimono that Whitney was telling this, you about. This is a legitimate... It's a um, real kimono. I mean, we can't even read the tag. It is in Japanese. Um, and it was tacked up to be much shorter with hand stitches, and Jenny undid them, and it is a full cotton kimono. And I am not... Um, I'm a lot taller than Whitney, but this thing is so long, I can take off probably six inches to make a belt for it. And it's going to be my bathrobe at home just because I think it's really cool. I could wear it with white pants to a concert. Um, there's still even more spaces to take off. Oh right my there. gosh, yeah, there it is. It was made for probably a seven foot man. <laughs> Not <laughs> even sure. Who knows? <laughs> and then I have this other fun thing that I found. And I'm hoping that you guys will encourage Whitney to help me fix this. This is this beautiful uh, velvet jacket, lots of beading, lots of embroidery. I just think it's super fun. It would look great with this pleated skirt. It would, it would. And um, it's just a little wide on me. So I thought, I'll bring it home. I've worn it a couple times to concerts with a concert tee underneath it. And um, just want it to fit a little nicer. So maybe mm -hmm. we'll have to work on that. We can do that. Jenny well, does sew. She does know how to use a sewing machine. I sew pillows. <laughs> and Girl Scout crafts, guys. <laughs> um, the last thing I'm going to talk about, again, going back to uh, the fact that we live in Indiana. Mm -hmm. um, this is going to be kind of a hint. Uh, my we kids have Columbia. an event with that's a corporate of the school maybe every three days. Yeah. And spirit wear. Mm -hmm. You can spend a lot of money on spirit wear. Mm -hmm. But why not go to the Goodwill and yeah. get somebody else's spirit wear for $2. Yeah, exactly. So this has made the rounds this season. And... Um, it's comfortable. It's it's a nice brand, and I mean, it's spirit wear. It's spirit wear. It does its duty, right? And it, eventually, I'll send it back to the Goodwill when we're done with the sports. Yeah, and then it can be someone else's spirit wear find. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So always uh, an easy place to find spirit wear. Yeah. 
I think that just about covers everything that I've No, you got no oh. unicorn sweater. <laughs> and the pants. Okay, so there okay, are two, two more fun things that I want to share with you guys. Um, Whitney was telling me about this skirt, the snakeskin skirt she was making. I was actually sewing it up when she sent me the picture of her trying these on at a garage sale. Or after a garage sale. After a garage sale. Pick these up. <laughs> at a garage sale. Not at the Goodwill, but I have to share these with you. Snakeskin sequins mm -hmm. pants. Mm -hmm. How hot are these? And it's a, it's like a cotton twill. And they're cachet brand. Yeah. It says dry clean only. I'm going to put them in the washing machine. I'm going to let them mirror dry. Roll the dice. See what happens. And I'm going to wear them to the high school orchestra concert next week. Yes. Because we like to, we like to be extra I'm gonna at be, our kids' events. I'm going to be that mom. <laughs> but maybe one of the best things that we found, I don't want to bring this on too quickly. Uh, we have <laughs> yeah. a friend who uh, really just embraces the holidays, mm -hmm. and I bought this for my daughters. My daughters took one look at it and said, um, no, mm -hmm. but isn't this going to win every holiday sweater sweaters. contest at school? Every one. Right? A sequence. A Christmas, Christmas unicorn. <laughs> unicorn with a bell. <laughs> Come on. I mean... You haven't even heard of that brand. I wonder where that came from. It's amazing, is what it, it is. Fairies and angels. It fairies and sweater. angels made the sweater. I, I, it's, there's certainly 100% no virgin fabric in this. this no, all This acrylic. is made all from oil, people. Yes. Yeah. This is all of our natural yep. resources and technology yep. wrapped up in one thing. Yep. For four forty nine in the Goodwill. <laughs> yes. This is fast fashion. Oh, this is so fun. I can't wait till the next haul. Yes, so that's that's it for us for today. We just wanted to share with you, again, I bought some stuff that I'm gonna wear as is, a few things that are gonna be tweaked. Um, Jenny is taller than I, and so doesn't have to do as much tweaking as I do because her limbs fit properly into her size, <laughs> into her size of clothing. But yeah, that's what we do. First Saturday, we try, first Saturday of the month for 50% off Goodwill Day. Um, it, we, we go with our game faces on, take hand sanitizer. I forgot the hand sanitizer and this water. last weekend. And take water. Yes. yes. You'll want to hydrate in between stores. And send us pictures of what you find. Yes! Yes! Comment below if that's something that you like to do. We'd love to see pictures of anything that wonderful that you've, um, found. And my email and stuff's all down below. All right, that's all I've got for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful week, and I'll see you all on Friday with some Minerva makes. Have a good week. Bye. Bye.